and welcome to Windsor Public Library's online 3D printing workshop. If you have yet to register for this program, please check the description on this video for how to register. In this video, I'm going to show you the basics on how to use the online software Tinkercad, and then in the next video, I will show you how to create your own personalized keychain. Tinkercad is a free online software that allows you to create your own 3D objects which can be printed with a 3D printer like the ones we have at the library. You can follow along in this tutorial with me, pausing the video when you need to, or if you've registered for this program, you'll have a handout which you can follow step-by-step -step instructions. To log in for this workshop, go to tinkercad.com slash join class and enter in the class ID that you were provided upon registration. Once you select go to my class, simply put in your first name and that should allow you into the class. Being part of this class means that I'll be able to monitor the progress and then print your object for you at the end. So let's get started. Once you've logged into our class, you can start learning how to use Tinkercad. So this is your work plane here, this blue square. That will show where your 3D item will eventually be printed on. You can name your item here. You can click that and change your name. So put your first name so that I know whose it is. And then you can move around your work plane by right clicking and dragging. So you can read it, view it from below, from the top, and you can move around the sides. You can also use this box here on the left to click and select different sides to view, and you can also click and drag it around. You can zoom in and out by scrolling, or again on the left hand side here you have a plus and minus for zoom in and out. You can also use keyboard shortcuts with the plus and minus sign on your keyboard. So on your right hand side, you're going to see all the objects that you can use in Tinkercad. So to use them, all you do is click and then drag them onto your work surface. If you want to resize your objects, you can click on the item to show all the points. And then you just simply click and drag and this will resize it. If you have your perfect square and you want to make sure all the size, sides stay correct, you're going to hit the Alt button, Alt and click, and that will resize it with the same size. You can also move your object up and down with this arrow on top and just click and drag. When you're resizing objects, when you click the point, it's going to show your dimensions here. So right now we have 44 by 50. You can click it and type in the number if you'd prefer so that you know exactly what size you're getting. You can also rotate items in Tinkercad. So once again, select your item to show the points, and then you'll see these arrows. When you hover over them, you're going to see a protractor pop up, and it's the degree that you're going to turn it. So you can click and drag like we did before, and it will rotate showing the degree we're turning. Again, you can select the box, and type in the degree you want to turn to be more specific. At any time if you made a mistake and want to go back, all you have to do is hit Control Z on your keyboard and it will reset to where you previously were. Now if we wanted two shapes on the board, we can click and drag in the next one. and we could make a hole in the box. So take your cylinder 
and click the whole button. So that turns it from a solid into a whole. And then we can place it in the box. Let's resize it a little bit so we can see it better. And so this means when we print it, it's going to leave a hole in the center of the box. But for it to print properly, we have to group these two items. So you can drag and click so that both items are selected. And then hit the group button on the top, or you can select Control G on your keyboard. Now we can see the hole that we created. So if we were to print this, it's exactly how it would print out a box with a hole. If we didn't like where we put the hole, we can select the item again and select ungroup or control shift G. And then we can replace it. So if you screw up, don't worry, we can always change it. So play around with your work plane, clicking and dragging different objects, resizing them, moving them, rotating them, and then play around with the holes and grouping and ungrouping. Once you feel comfortable, you can move on to the next video and start creating your keychains.